Greetings brothers and sisters, my name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I've been traveling for the last month in Vietnam. I went with my family who are not Vietnamese, but we met together many wonderful Vietnamese people. We now have a list of personal contacts of people that we met there that we can pray for. We're praying for their salvation. I didn't know what to expect when I went to Vietnam. We just chose it randomly in such times. We're not sure if it's really random or if the Lord led us, but the people were kind and most of them do not know Jesus. We went from the north to the central and onto the south and we prayed for the, each city we were in that the Holy Spirit would come and minister to the people. We did see a few Catholic churches while we were there, but we did not meet any born-again Christians personally. Please pray for this country. It made me realize how precious it is to live in a country where we are able to receive the gospel so easily. For those who are raised in another religion or with no faith at all, it's more difficult to find Jesus. It's, Jesus does find them though, I have to Remember that. It's a good reminder to pray for people who live in such places. Many told me that the young people there do not believe in God. Thank you for praying for us on this journey. We stayed healthy and safe, and I appreciate your care. Even though it has been a month since I have posted, we are so much closer to the rapture of the church each day. I've kept an eye on current events and every day looks like it can be at any moment. I have a word to share with you to encourage you. But before I do, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh. He died on a cross for your sins and mine and rose again after three days for our salvation. He is our only way to heaven. I feel like many of you are tired and ready to go home, and that is understandable. The Lord sees your faith and love and perseverance, and he loves each one of you intimately. I felt he gave me a word, and I will share it with you. Feel free to test all words. Here's what I felt he shared with me. My children, my precious bride, you are a chosen priesthood of believers. Your waiting time is a beautiful time of preparation in my presence. Be attentive to my movements and my workings among the peoples and join me in acts of intercession for the perishing. My desire is for those who stand against me to surrender their lives to me. My love for them is unquestionable. Stay close as possible to my heart and do not get caught up in the conflict. The wars are from the enemy's lies, which have convinced hearts and minds to fight for gain. And that was Acts 4, 1 through 6. My way is to lay down your rights for the true king and to live in truth. These wars will come, but pray for the hearts of those who are involved to surrender to me and to know me before they pass into eternity. In this hour, like all other hours, watch for my coming and walk like I did. Give up your lives and reach out with compassion and love. Use and ask for more discernment as the days are evil. Be wise, discern, and move with me, your guide. When I say stop, stop. When I say go, go. Flow in me. The time is coming of my coming is at hand and keep your hearts in me, humbly asking for what you need. I will be your shield and great reward. Seek my face. I am coming soon. And that's what I felt he said. I went to read James 4, 1 through 2. It says, where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure, which war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight in war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. I want to tell you a story about the importance of listening to the Holy Spirit for safety. A few years ago, I was on a ship going through Eastern Indonesia. 
This was a human cargo ship and was not a luxury ship at all. The deck was crowded with people, chickens, cargo, and there, were, there was barely any room to sleep or walk. I was on the rail and the Holy Spirit was teaching me this lesson of listening to him about safety and movement. I'd been talking with people and a man came up to me as I stood on the edge of the rail and he asked me where I was from. I felt immediately the Holy Spirit say to me strongly, do not say anything about yourself. The man continued to press me for information, but I shifted the conversation to the scenery and he finally left. Soon after, actually within days, there was a war that broke out between the Christians and the Muslims of the region and many people were killed. It made me realize how important it is to listen to the Holy Spirit in times when danger is present. The wars we are seeing will happen according to the scriptures, but be wise and stay close to Jesus and have discernment. Listen to his voice and obey it. It may save your life. Psalms 91 is a good one to speak over yourself and your family. It's a covenant of peace and protection for you. Don't get entangled with the conflict, but stay close to what Jesus is doing. Stay in agreement with his pattern of love for the lost and pray for them. He reaches out to those who seem to be enemies, and he wants them to surrender before they pass into eternity. Take on his perspective as his dearly loved bride. Jesus is coming soon. He is preparing a bride who will love him forever and will flow in harmony with him. Make sure you keep flowing in the oil of the Holy Spirit and love Jesus as your first love. If you'd like to support this channel, there's a link in the description to buy me a coffee. Thank you for listening. This is Linda from Simple Help Now. Have a wonderful day.